Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about observational learning. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about observational learning. Okay. Watch me. No, really, watch me. That's all observational learning is. When you watch someone do something and then try to mimic or copy what they did, that's called observational learning. Go. <laughs> it's just that simple. It's called observational because you're doing the watching or observing what they're doing, and then you learn based on that observation. Observational learning is something we do all the time without even thinking about it. Like, have you ever been someplace new and you weren't quite sure what you should be doing, so you just kind of looked around and followed what everyone else did? That was observational learning. And observational learning seems to have four fairly contained skills that are involved. The first is attention. If you can't pay attention, you can't use this method to learn. Obviously, out there watching this video to learn right now, you're probably doing pretty good on your level of attention. But imagine if you were two years old. It would be quite rare for a toddler to have the level of attention and focus needed to watch and learn from this video. The next skill is retention. Put simply, your brain has to have the retention and memory skills to make a new memory. There may be certain life conditions, like certain forms of Alzheimer's or dementia or amnesias, where you might just not have that capability. The next skill is imitation or copying. You have to have the appropriate physical, emotional, and sometimes literal tools to be able to mimic what you've watched. Like if you showed me how to build a wooden birdhouse, but I didn't have a hammer, I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate that learning. Likewise, if you showed me how to do a jump shot, I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to demonstrate that. The last skill is motivation. You have to be motivated to actually demonstrate your learning. If I try to show you and you're not motivated to learn and prove that you've learned something, it's going to be hard to demonstrate that I taught you at all. But if you do have all four of these abilities, observational learning is really quite easy. Or is it? Back in the ancient days of 2018, <laughs> researchers from the University of Chicago named Cardis and O'Brien put out data that indicated that sometimes we get a little too overconfident in our observational learning abilities. They showed their participants videos of specific highly skilled behaviors like dart throwing or juggling and even moonwalking. The more people watched or observed the video, the more confident they rated their ability to perform that same skilled behavior, even though they had no experience or practice ever doing that behavior. Just watching the video made them super confident that they would be able to do it too. You may even hear this effect called YouTube overconfidence. Why overconfidence? Because when faced with actually performing these actions, the participant's skill level was far less than what they themselves had predicted. Watching the videos didn't suddenly make them a great juggler or to be able to do the moonwalk. Scientists still have to figure out if this effect is due to more because the participants were watching the same video repeatedly or if we are generally more confident in our abilities after repeated observations. If you want to observe more, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! YouTube overconfidence. 
that's the kind of confidence you get when you've been making YouTube videos for, for like a month now, I guess. Kind of a new channel.